So excited to talk about this next topic. We are talking about the Meat Cake Invitational, Meat Cakes, plural, Invitational, that is coming up this Sunday, and you're not going to believe what it is. It might <laughs> sound like it could be anything, but here to talk about it is uh, Dyke Michaels Hello. and Bridget Purcell from Harder Brunch. Mm -hmm. Great podcast. We love it. <laughs> so let me just leave it to you. Tell us what the Meat Cakes Invitational is. Uh, basically, it's a culinary competition where some of the best chefs in the state come together, and they're going to be building uh, edible works of art that are basically wedding cake size uh, cakes made out of meat. Hmm. And then you just share it. So basically, <laughs> you'll you'll what you'll do is if you buy a ticket, you get to walk around. You get a it's set up kind of like um, uh, like a high school science fair. So you get to walk around, you get to meet the chefs, mm -hmm. you get to ask questions, you get to take pictures of the cakes, and then after the judges do their judging. Um, you, everyone gets a sample of each of the cakes. So you basically get like a 10 course tasting meal menu and then you get to help judge and pick the people's champ. So this is the fourth year for the Meat Cakes oh, yeah. Invitational. Yeah, the and competition gets more and more, more, and more each year. Yeah. <laughs> and so the first year it was a hit and then it grew from there. Mm -hmm. Where did the idea come from to say, let's take meat and make wedding cakes out of it, so to speak. I think it was kind of just us spitballing. Um, I'm a pastry chef, so I do a lot of wedding cakes. And I think Dyke and Zach at one point were like, well, if, if we could make it out of meat, we could definitely make a better cake than you. And I thought, bet, let's see if we can. Yeah, let's do it, so right? Yeah. Go. So the first year it was just the three of us. Mm -hmm. And then, and it's like, it was so much fun. It's just a way that I feel like uh, we have some amazing chefs that participate in it. We feel like we have to keep upping our game each year because the competition is so stiff, but it's just kind of a fun, it's a way to show your craft, but be silly about it. And it's so much fun. Talk to me a little bit about um, Harder Brunch. Uh, what people who may not be familiar with the podcast can find if they decide to, it's time to listen. Sure. Well, I'm a comedian uh, who went to culinary school. So uh, I have a, f a foot in both comedy and the, the food scene here. So that was kind of the idea behind was like, let's talk to local food service people and let's talk to comedians. And we kind of alternate between those and we've added different kinds of artists and stuff like that. But it's usually Indiana uh, based people. Um, and then we invite them over to our house. We do a, like a four to five course brunch that's made specially for the guest. And then after we ply you with a bunch of food, then we take you downstairs and, and we do the podcast and interview you, you know. Love it. And the winner of the uh, Meat Cake Invitational gets to crash the podcast as yeah. the year's past? Yeah. yeah. They, they are the meat king for the whole next calendar year. Yeah. So Bridget was the meat. We offered to make her the meat queen. She said, no, I will keep the king title. I'll keep the king. Uh, so, in, yeah, 2022, uh, I, I won and um, I decided, yeah, Meat King was was the title, um, and then last year Stephen Hackney did basically a diorama, lava cake sort of style of of meat, and and then I got People's Champ last year. So it's fun because we have a, a judge um, win, and then the people who come get to get to pick a winner too. So love it. The podcast is called Harder Brunch. Mm -hmm. The event is the Meat Cakes Invitational. It's happening on Sunday, February 24th at Half Liter Barbecue. That's at 5301 Winthrop Avenue. Tickets are still available at eventbrite.com. This is 10 best chefs in town making 10 meat cakes. You don't want to miss it. Dyke and Bridget, thanks for being here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.